Hey y'all, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today we're on the hunt for a bonsai pot for a white pine that I amadori this time last year. That's all coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. That white pine that I gathered, it's probably two years plus old. And what attracted me to it, why I took it out of the wild was because it was, you know, so full of branches early on in age. And usually when you're out on the trails or, you know, out on the hunt for trees around here, these pines are really long and stringy and, you know, they'll, they'll start about here with their branching. So um, this one was really cool and I'm glad that I did collect it because today we're going to go find, uh, I'd say like a medium sized bonsai pot maybe in the navy blue, some sort of blue family. I think would look really nice with this tree. Late in the fall, it's really starting to get these, these darker needles. And when they come out, you know, they're a bright green. So really nice transition. All right, so let's hop in the Jeep and go find a bonsai pot. All right, making my way into the landscaping section. It's really been shrunk down since the shift from summer into fall, so I was hoping for 20% off every item in the store. I was hoping for some nice deals here. I believe they were 40% off last week. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's that much stock here. Hmm. You know, I'm a sucker for terracotta, but for this one, I don't want terracotta. Well, oh, what's this guy? There's no holes. I don't feel like dealing with that. I like that green pot, but that's too deep for a bonsai. So, all right, y'all. It's hard to get me off the ranch, but it looks like we're heading all the way into town. To one of my absolute favorite nurseries. This place is amazing. And so is this truck. <laughs> So these statues are really cool. We got our little garden gnome Buddha here. Look at this guy. What is this? $225 bucks for a weeping pine. Weeping pine. Pinus strobus pendula. Wow, that thing's cool. Where you at, Trunk? Oh yeah, she thick. That's good. Cool. Well, I would never pay $225 for pretty much anything, so, you know, that's not me. But, wow, what a cool collection they got going on right now, huh? So this is a... Tasuga Pendula. Hmm. So, yeah, it goes back rows and rows and rows. Let's go find a bonsai pot and then um, we'll do a little additional tour because this place is quite a treat. Making my way into the greenhouse area. Around the corner is usually a huge pot section, and then they actually have specific bonsai pots, not just what you could imagine or reinvent as a bonsai pot, which I do usually. Here we go. So you see what I'm talking about. Quite the selection, beautiful amounts of terracotta but with a nice high-class nursery with high quality like this, you're typically paying top dollar. 
So sometimes they have sales on bonsai pots, but we'll see. All right. So it looks like it goes largest to smallest, low to high. Hmm. These are pretty cool. Like little fake rocks. I mean, there's some sort of plaster. So those are 12 bucks. These are cool. I got the little drainage plug in the bottom. Those are five bucks. I might just grab one of those for fun. I got some cool different shapes. Oh yeah, oh, those are cool. Oh, it's a two tier. I don't even have a plan for it yet, but it's coming with me. Oh, is that supposed to be water that goes up there? Eighteen ninety nine. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really into that color. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna center around these. So I'm thinking a larger one for that pine because it's already, you know, I'd say nine inches tall. What about this nice round blue one? Rectangular turquoise back there. I don't think I like that color for it. Oh, this is a really dark blue and shiny rectangular. I like that. That over here. Got a nice drip tray with it. Hmm. That's cool. Let's see. And then there's that lighter round blue. I don't think I like round. Ooh, that's a nice shape. That's a nice shade of blue. And then we have another rectangular one back there, blue. So let me get these all lined up and then we'll talk about it. See? Shades of blue, all different shapes, but they all do have nice matching drip trays. So we got the first one down here. Nice dark blue. We got a couple of nice drainage holes. I like the shape. How you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Make a decision on my terracotta. I just turned around and I saw, or not my terracotta, on my bonsai. I got terracotta on the brain. Turn around and I saw these cool ones. But these size, dollar twenty nine, and then the larger ones, uh, like four sixty nine. Those would be good for outside. So I'm guessing it's an off season type of thing since we're heading into winter. Mm. I'm gonna resist. <laughs> but these right down here, sixteen ninety nine. I think that the winner is gonna have to be this guy. I just love the shape. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. Our bonsai pot, so as promised, I'd bring you around. These are their queen of the nights. Mine actually bloomed the last three nights, and that's a video that's coming up as well. If it's not already released, it's gonna be released about the same time as this one. Wow, this is really cool. That doesn't have a label on it, but I'm not paying 75 bucks for it, that's really cool. Oh, I've seen these all over YouTube. Boom. Wow. Pink. 65 bucks. Those are nice. That trunk. Looks like a couple of them. All right. So, get out of the greenhouse. We'll walk around the grounds here, around the back. Behind the back of the nursery. Typically around the back at this place is where you find um, either the owner's personal stock, which is amazing, uh, <laughs> depending on the season. And it'll have this big sign on it that says, not for sale. Like you see these giant jades up there. Look at those. It's a family owned business, John Sr., John Jr. Um, but I come back out back, not only for the, the special viewing, but because there's usually a bastard tree section where it's like they know they're not going to be able to sell it for what they're asking for the rest of that um, species. So they'll just kind of put it in an area and try to rehab it and sell it the next year. But I come out and I say, hey, do you want to give me a special price on the... And then input name of tree. 
And I've gotten like a fig here, a weeping cherry, a bunch of different things. Um, Japanese fantail willow. This is the section actually. <laughs> it's looking small and rough. Stop the video because Laura showed up to meet me for lunch. We just had lunch in the car. Had some all natural ribs for lunch. Just kept it chill. And I got out and I see this Dawn Redwood and holy cow, if you just finished my Coastal Redwood series, then maybe you know how obsessed with these trees I am, but I've never seen one on the East Coast. These Dawn Redwoods are nice. Wow, beautiful. Let's see how much that bad boy is. It is... 75 dollars i'd say that's worth it i'm not gonna get it i'll grow my own but i did see while i was having lunch out here past this really cool volkswagen truck there's a tall juniper of some variety and it has seeds seed pods or something it's looking like all over it so i'm gonna come grab some before i bounce Oh, maybe it's a U? I don't even know. And I guess those are just dry needles. I was thinking that it had pine cones or something. So I don't know how you would... Maybe you dry out these berries? Oh well. So not today.
so once I pulled it up from that deep pot, I realized it was yet another one like the maple I found the other day that I planted deeper in order to guarantee I got some roots because I really wanted the base of the trunk. So it got a lot more interesting. So I picked out a nice rock. I always keep a bunch handy every time I go out on a walk or a run, a hike. I always pick up a rock and bring it back. So I got that one underneath it. I think it has a nice strong root structure all going out to one side for sure, but that's okay. Just started. And then I've got the other two kind of holding it in place. Now I'm going to get it out of a windy spot, give it a good watering and I'm welcoming this pine into its bonsai state. I really like it. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Leave any comments or questions you have below, and I hope to see you on the next video. Have a great day.